Welcome back to America Trends. Glad to have you with us. Our friend Barry Nussbaum is with the American Truth Project, and he comes on from time to time to talk to us about the political headlines of the day. He keep tra keeps track of all these things. Barry Nussbaum, welcome back to America Trends. Great to be with you, Amy, as usual. <laughs> so what has caught your eye this week as far as politics is concerned, all the political headlines? I, I think the biggest story that is going to have the biggest ramifications for all Americans uh, for years to come is the declaration of national emergency to facilitate President Trump funding the border barrier on the southern border. The part that is really missing out of the news is the fact that there have been over 50 of these declarations since the law was first passed in the 70s. Every single president has declared a national emergency. And about 32 that we are still under yet today since about 1979. So we're still under these things. So when the, the, the national media, the mainstream press, tries to make, you, to make it seem like it's some uh, amazing thing, you know, there's a lot to learn about what's going on in politics. We can't pay attention to everything, but we are trying to tell you what is going on, and you may just not find the truth on CNN, right? Well, the really sad part is that is astoundingly true. There are over 30 still in effect, and I'll bet you any amount of money, you or any of your viewers, and me, before I did the research, could name more than one of them. So, so but what are they? Fifty have been declared. I mean, things that, and you know, when you research, they they all kind of make sense. You know, after 9/11, Bush declared a national emergency relating to Islamic terrorism. Um, Obama declared national emergencies. Generally, they have involved threats from other countries, and they have been facilitated by a declaration from the president that says it's in the best national security interest of the country. The part that's ironic is many of these, and I mean several dozen of them, have been declared to establish, maintain, and pay for barriers between countries to protect <laughs> the sovereignty of those third world nations, courtesy of you and me and our fellow several hundred million American taxpayers. And the great goofball story that's hidden now is that the southern border is being infiltrated by thousands of people a day. I always invite people to go to the border and see for themselves if they can do it. I did it. And you really get your eyes open. And what President Trump says is, look, I ran on the platform that I'm going to close the border, which means everybody that comes in, comes in through a legal port of entry, fills out the paperwork, makes the application, pass the test, just like you're supposed to. Under well, oh, wait, they're supposed to come in legally and go through a process just like we always have since the beginning of when we got our country established and when they did it on Ellis Island to make sure we could come here as viable citizens and also not have diseases. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, like, like when my parents came here after World War II. God bless them. They had to study. I remember being in high school, if I wanted to know anything about civics, especially American presidents, especially things like the Declaration of Independence or the Bill of Rights, I would go to one of my parents who would tell me in very accented English exactly what I needed to know because they had to learn it to become American citizens. It's really sad that somehow along the way during our generation, that's fallen out. So now President Trump does what he promised to do, and the 50 odd national security declarations that have been made aren't in the news, Amy, <laughs> and there's a lot of them to protect other countries. But somehow, for some reason, a few billion dollars to protect America is a national crisis. And then, then you get the nutcases that come out of the woodwork and say, you know what? Not only do we not want to expand the wall because it's racist and anti-American and anti-immigrant and all kinds of other cockamamie phrases. Cockamamie is the right word. The wall that's already there and open up the borders. Yikes! Yeah. There are now, this is the update as of today, 25 members of, of MS-13, this is what Mexican officials are telling us, 25 members of MS-13, and if you've not heard of it or you haven't looked up what they do, look it up, viewers, you'll lose your lunch, you won't be able to sleep. These are bad hombres. 
and 25 of them have been busted and sent back in this caravan alone. Oh, the Democrats will tell you it's just a few. But then there's that Skittles thing. Barry, if you have a package of Skittles and you know one's poisonous, are you going to eat them all just because only one is poisonous? So that's the update there. And this, that's why that this, you could say this is, in fact, a national emergency. If you're the family, Amy, that loses a son or a daughter to a brutal crime, you're the one Skittle. And that means <sighs> that that one person who came in was the one that destroyed your family. Look, the job of law enforcement is to protect the citizens based on the laws passed by the Congress. This goofball statement that comes out of, uh, for example, the California Senator uh, Harris, Kamala Harris, Harris, that calls ICE the same as the Ku Klux Klan. That's ridiculous. Or, or, or Casio Cortez, our favorite Congresswoman from New York, who wants to defund ICE doesn't realize these are national laws passed by the national representatives of the American people to state the laws of how you get into the country. ICE is down there doing their job way out, man, way underfunded and outgunned by people who literally cut your head off as an example to other people to let them do what they want to do. MS-13 may be the worst gang ever to infiltrate the country. And if it, there's a couple, if there's one, keep everybody out until everybody follows the rules. Because if that one person gets in and comes to your home or my home, oh my gosh, the devastation is terrifying.